Thousands of eagles and other fowl have died from a mysterious condition that attacks their nervous systems. After decades of investigation, we now know why. For 25 years, a mysterious killer has been on the loose across the south of American, responsible for the deaths of over 100 eagles and thousands of other birds. The first victims were found in the fall of 1994 and winter of 1995 when 29 bald eagles died near Lake DeGray, Arkansas. At first, the birds seemed to be untouched. But during an autopsy, scientists found lesions on their brains and spinal cords, a condition they named avian vacuolar myelinopathy AVM. Researchers at the Department of Fish and Wildlife searched for diseases or toxins like DDT that might cause this debilitating disease, but they found nothing. Then the mystery went unsolved. When the killer appeared again a few years later in the Carolinas, Georgia, and Texas. In addition to bald eagles, it had started attacking water birds like Canadian geese, coots, and mallard ducks. First it rendered the birds unable to fly. They stumbled around, their wings drooped, they looked catatonic or paralyzed. Then, in as few as five days, they were dead. Now, in a paper published today in Science, an international team of researchers from Germany, the Czech Republic, and the United States have finally identified the culprit, a previously unknown neurotoxin, called edocphenodoxin which could be produced by a deadly combination of invasive plants, opportunistic bacteria, and chemical pollution in lakes and reservoirs. To find this new toxin, scientists had to work together like detectives, assessing the crime scene and interrogating suspects. A professor of aquatic science at the University of Georgia, Susan Wilde, first began investigating the mystery in 2001 when 17 bald eagles died in Lake J. Strom Thurmond, a man-made reservoir on the Georgia-South Carolina border. She said she had seen the eagle's deaths before in past events, but this one was the reservoir where she had done her dissertation research. When Susan Wilde had been collecting data for her dissertation in the mid-1990s, there wasn't much vegetation growing in the reservoir. But when she returned a few years later, the lake had been overtaken by an invasive plant called hydrilla, which is easy to grow and had become a popular plant for fish tanks. It's rumored that hydrilla was initially released in the US in the 1950s when it outgrew an aquarium and someone dumped it out into a Florida waterway. Since then, it's become one of the most pernicious aquatic weeds in the country, thriving in freshwater lakes from Washington to Wisconsin to the Carolinas. Wilde began to wonder if the eagle deaths and the presence of this new plant were related. Cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae, are famous for creating the toxic blooms that poison lakes and seafood. Wilde hypothesized that the toxin was produced on the leaves of this plant and then eaten by herbivorous birds swimming around in the lake. When the poison started to work on the birds' nervous systems, they became catatonic, easy prey for the bald eagles who migrate south every year to nest. When the eagles ate the infected prey, all the toxins stored in the birds' muscles and stomachs were transferred to the eagles. But to be sure she was pursuing the right suspect, Susan Wilde needed to grow some etocphenous hydrilicola in the lab, to find out which toxin it produces. But that's easier said than done. Bacteria are notoriously difficult to cultivate. Plus, she had to culture them in a setting that mimicked the water in the reservoir. It's sort of hard to recreate that environment in the lab, says Wilde. The cultures kept getting colonized by other bacteria that grew faster and more readily. We had a lot of trouble with contamination and getting the culture started, she says. This data was taken from the link in the description. To read this full story, you can visit the link. If you like this video, and want to see more, you can give it a thumbs up. If you like content like this one, and would like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.